In this chapter, we will discuss the linked list data structure. We will learn what they are, how they are implemented, and what are the different types of commonly used linked lists. A linked list in simple terms is an ordered set of data elements such that each element contains a link to its successor. So a linked list contains data elements and each element points to the next element. And the last element of the sequence points to a null element. These data elements are called nodes. The linked list itself contains a reference to the first element of the list, which is called the head element. Now let's see what a node is. A node in a linked list can be thought of as divided into two parts. One part contains the data and here data can be anything that we want to store. It may be of primitive type like int, double, etc. Or it can be an object reference which may point to some object. For example, if we were maintaining a linked list of say user objects where the user represents a user of a system having fields like first name, last name, email ID, etc. The other part of the node holds the reference to the next node. That is, it points to the next node. And if it is the last element of the sequence, as I have already told you, it points to null. So this whole structure is called a linked list. And as mentioned earlier, the linked list object contains a reference only to the head element not to any other element, okay? Although we can access any of these elements by starting from the head element and going to the next node from there. Now, let's write some code to create a node. In your IDE, let's create a new package for this chapter. Now, inside this package, let's create a new class and call it node. Now let's declare the member variables data and next node. So we write private int data and then private node next node. So here we are assuming that the data is going to be of int type. And as you can see, we have made these variables private. So to access these, we use getters. We write it like this. Now let's write a constructor for the node class like this. So our node class is complete and we can create objects from this class. Now let's turn our attention to a linked list. 